Were you wondering why it has been raining so much this year? I can't be too sure, but looks like at least some of the rain was sort of induced. What is cloud seeding? Contrary to what a lot of people believe, it is just a process of artificially encouraging a cloud to produce rain and not a method where it just magically starts raining on a cloudlet's bright sunny day. So what it does is that it increases the chance of rain by up to 15 to 30 percent. How is it done? Well, light planes are fitted with flares and are flown into the base of clouds where these flares are released. Now, these flares contain salts like potassium chloride, sodium chloride and magnesium, which encourages water vapour in the clouds to form droplets heavy enough to fall as rain. Why is this so important, you may ask? Now, the United Nations predicts that 14% of the world's population will encounter water scarcity by 2025, particularly in arid and semi-arid countries like ours. You might say that effective desalination plants is a solution for the water problem, but a typical large-scale desalination plant produces 100,000 cubic meters of water per day, which costs $100 million, equating to $1 million for every 1,000 cubic meters. With our fast-growing population, the UAE is under pressure to come up with cost-effective alternatives. Now, desalinating one cubic meter of water from sea costs about $60, whereas the same amount of water extracted through cloud seeding costs just $1. So how much is being spent by the UAE on cloud seeding operations? The UAE spent $558,000 on cloud seeding operations in 2015. Now, that's the only concrete figure I have. So let's do some math now. A medium-sized cumulus cloud can contain approximately 275 million gallons of water. Assuming a 5% increase in rainfall, the resulting water produced is around 13.75 million gallons. So now this equates to approximately 55,000 cubic meters. Assuming a price of 2.24 dirhams per cubic meter, the total worth can be calculated to 123,200 dirhams. Now, in the event that a 20% increase in rainfall is achieved, the resulting water produced is 55 million gallons, which is approximately worth 492,800 dirhams. And according to reports, 10 to 15% of rainfall last year was caused due to cloud seeding. So now we can guess how much was spent in it. Now, if you think cloud seeding is a recent discovery, then you're mistaken. Let me share with you some interesting facts. In 1952, a freak storm caused floods that destroyed the UK village of Lynmouth, resulting in the death of 35 people. Reports emerged that the storm was partly the result of a government-backed cloud seeding project. More than a decade later, the US Army allegedly used cloud seeding techniques to increase monsoon rain over the Vietnam-controlled Ho Chi Minh Trail during the Vietnam War. In 2007, Russian military pilots described how they created rain clouds to protect Moscow from radioactive fallout after the Chernobyl nuclear disaster in 1986. The results may have been catastrophic, with heavy black-coloured rain falling over swathes of neighbouring Belarus, exposing the local population to high doses of radiation. So you see, this can be both useful and harmful, just depends on the way you do it and the purpose in question. In the UAE, cloud seeding is mainly going to be used for meeting the growing population needs with regards to water, of course, and supporting emerging industries such as farming in the UAE. In 2015, the UAE Rain Enhancement Research Program was launched to encourage research on rain enhancement. The program, which was funded by the Abu Dhabi Ministry of Presidential Affairs, awards $5 million each to successful applicants over a three-year period. Well, now we just have to wait and watch how much of it is effective and how much rainfall we see this year.